As my dad and my uncle built the business, they did this by making sure that they treated everyone within the company uh, with respect. It's always been said about my father that you would always work with my father and not for my father. And I hope that I'm able to translate that through the business today. If we're going to succeed in business, then we absolutely have to have our personnel go home from work safely at the end of the day. That if that does not occur, then we're not successful. Our goal is not to be just another safety first company. That's so cliche not a company that just checks the box, okay? We've done safety, now we can move on to more important things. Within our company, we like to have a culture of safety. It has to be much more than just a safety program. It has to be a culture that is developed from the top down within the company. There's three measurements of a safety culture. Step one is that the employee has to realize they have a right to work safely, that it's the law. Step number two is the employee has to realize that since I have a right to work safely, I will. I'm gonna take ownership of that. But you can only get so far with regard to a safety culture. You have to get to the next level. And that next level is when that employee says, I have a right to work safely, so I'm going to take ownership of that. I'm going to work safely, but I'm going to make sure that that guy or gal next to me goes home safely. When, when you accomplish that, that's when you've arrived. That's when you've got a safety culture that can ensure that your people go home at the end of the day, and that's what we're striving for.